Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me. So, some really, really quick, something exciting. Like, in the past two days, I got over 300 new subscribers. So, hello to all of you new subscribers. And hello to all of you older subscribers. I really appreciate it. I'm over 3,000 subscribers now, which I think is amazing. Um, so, this next look is based off of Leona Lewis. A lot of people have been asking me to do a tutorial based off of her. And I notice when she does press and stuff like that, she's either got, like, a very nice, soft, golden brown look on her eye, very nat neutral, not natural, neutral. Um, otherwise, she's got a really, really dramatic, smoky eye. And then I've been getting a lot of emails asking to do a look based off of her Bleeding Love video, but there's two different videos for it. There's the United States and the UK version. So no one specified which one, so I watched both of them. And, like always, I prefer the UK version, because her makeup was more amazing. And she's wearing the Dolce & Gabbana dress and center corset. How can you beat that? Plus, she's wearing a green smoky eye. But it's not matte, it's not frosty, it's creamy. So, I took that look, and I did what I have on right now. So, let's go ahead and just get the tutorial started. Oh, 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 I forgot to mention, make sure you check out the blog. The link to it is in the video description. Um, because there will be pictures of the look and all the products that I use if you don't hear it in the video. So go ahead, check that out, make sure you look at the pictures, everything like that. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, watch the tutorial and then check out the blog. <laughs> okay, so our first step is going to be to take, um, let me find it. Uh, Urban Decay's Liquid Liner, and it's called Smog. It's pretty much looks like a um, MAC Sumptuous Olive Eyeshadow in a liquid eyeliner form. It's amazing. I love it. Um, just go ahead and draw all over your lid with it. You don't have to be neat, because we're just going to use a brush to blend it down anyway. And then once you have that on, go ahead and take if, uh, any brush. I'm using the MAC 249. It's a store-only brush. Looks like that, synthetic fibers. It's really great for pigments and liquids. But then just go ahead and blend the smog so it's all even all over your lid. Now I'm going to go ahead and take same liner, um, smog, and I'm just going to do a little bit under my eye. And then do the same thing, just go ahead and blend it. So now it looks like that. Now I'm just going to take club eyeshadow, and I'm just going to press that right on top of the smog liner. So I get that nice green, or a little bit under. Now that I have that on, I'm just going to go ahead, take a 190 brush, and a little bit of my face powder. I'm just going to blend out that edge a little bit better. Now go ahead and take uh, Feline Coal Power and do your waterline. So now it looks like that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take a brush. I'm using my 273. 272, 272. Ah. It's like the white version of a 275 or a 239 at an angle. Then I'm just going to pick up a little Soba eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to throw it right underneath my brow. Now I can take my 212 brush. I can find. I should be more organized. Um, 212 brush, get a little carbon on it, and the outer corner again, right underneath your lash line, just smudge a little carbon in there, because we want this outer corner to be the very, very dark area, and the inner corner is going to be lighter. Now it looks like that. Now I'm going to draw on my brow. Okay, now that we have our brow on, as you can see, it looks a lot better now. Um, I'm going to take uh, Rose Blanc eyeshadow, which is just a light creamy yellow, 
and then I'm going to use it with my 211 brush, which is like a very, very fat version of a 209 and 210, stuff like that. I'm just going to get a little bit on the tip, and then right in this little V, in the inside corner of my eye, I'm just going to apply it, just to brighten up this inner corner. Now that that's done, one thing I've been getting a lot of questions about lately is Studio Mist Foundation, if I use it, if I like it, I'm all that fun stuff. I've used every single MAC foundation there is, past and present. Um, I like Studio Mist, it's great, it's quick, it's easy. It's the one that comes in the aerosol can. Um, so of course to use it, you don't want to shake it. And then you don't spray it directly on your face. That's the thing I've noticed a lot of people think, since it's in a can you're supposed to spray it. No, it comes out pretty, like, thick. It's still a mist, but if you were to spray it exactly on your skin, you're not going to get even coverage out of it. So you take your brush, a sponge, anything like that, and spray it on that and then apply from there. And the really great thing about Studio Mist that sets it apart from others is it's got a lot of silicone in it, uh, which is going to help to fill in any fine lines and pores. And you'll look like that. Nothing special. Now I can take my face powder. I'm going to use my Mineralized Skin Finish, but I got the new Duo one because I wanted to talk about it, so that's the only reason I got it. Um, it's really, really great for anyone who wants to get into contouring and highlighting because it comes with a perfect highlight color for your skin tone based off of which one you purchase. So, if you were thinking about learning how to contour and highlight or you just don't know what color is going to be great to highlight with, this would be a very, very good investment for you. A really good trick, I'm using a 109 brush. You can get a little bit of the color on the side of your brush, dust it on the apple of your cheek, then just take the actual flat part of the brush, since it's already got a little face powder on it, and just buff it into your skin, and that way you get that really nice natural looking highlight. And it's still got a little bit of your skin tone in it, since you're putting it over the powder with some powder. If that makes any sense, I don't know. But then it looks like that. Now, go ahead, buy your mascara. Your a mascara. Your mascara. Um, and fall flashes if you want to. I'm going to do that right now. So, okay, so now I have the fall flashes on. Just went ahead, did a little bit of liner with them as well. Um, next step would to go ahead and just finish the look by doing your lips. So I'm just going to take Hover Lip Pencil and just do a nice line around my lips. And then I will take, where did, there it is. Um, I'm just going to take Luster Glass and Bateau. It came out with the Naughty Nauticals collection. This is a nice, soft, gold, kind of nude. And a really good trick with gloss. If you want to make your lips glossy, but so that it doesn't have that look like you just ate a bucket of fried chicken, just apply the gloss to your bottom lip and then smudge your lips together to get it onto your top lip. Because when you apply it on the top and the bottom, Sometimes the gloss tends to get a little thick and heavy, and that's where you get, like, the strings that pull apart when you're talking, and it just feels thick and gross and nasty. So if you just put it on the bottom and smudge, then you still have that nice glossy shine without it being too much and too intense over the top. So there you go. That completes our look based off of Leona Lewis. Lewis? Oh, my God. Leona Lewis's video for Bleeding Love. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to all you soon. Bye.